So recently, Apple Music have announced that they will be releasing an app called Apple Music Classical. The app is supposed to be essentially exactly the same as Apple Music, but it's just dedicated to classical music. Which raises the question, why? why? Why have a dedicated app completely separate to Apple Music just for classical music when there isn't a separate app for things like lo-fi study music or jazz? So the reason that they have a separate app is because in 2021, Apple acquired a app called Prime Phonic. And Prime Phonic was very similar to Apple Music, except it had a massive classical library. They had deals and access with about 5 million different songs on their app. And apparently, although I'd never heard of it, it was quite a popular app for classical music. However, in 2021, Apple acquired that app and now they've just kind of changed it, made it look almost identical to Apple Music and they're re-releasing it as Apple Music Classical. And although I think they probably should have just acquired the music library and put it into Apple Music so that everyone can go to one place for all their music. According to Apple, it has some benefits. And one of the benefits that they state is that it's going to make it easy for beginners to get acquainted with the genre thanks to hundreds of essential playlists, insightful composer biographies, deep dive guides for many key works and intuitive browsing features. So I think basically that means that they're going to try and cater the app so that it's more informative and give you more information about the pieces that you're listening to. And that in turn will help people who are just getting into classical music or wanting to listen to a piece that they heard but don't know anything about it. It will make it easier for people to digest the music and start to understand what it's all about, which I think is great. The other thing with classical music is that because a lot of the artists aren't playing the their original works. It's kind of confusing between who composed the piece of music, who performed the piece of music, who conducted it, what instrumentalists were playing if it was an orchestral piece. How many of you are there? And supposedly this new app allows you to search for the composers, the players, the conductors, etc. But my fear is that you are applying an extra barrier for entry into classical music. And I hope that they don't take classical music off of the main app. Because if they take it away from the main app, then that's going to mean that anyone can't just stumble across a piece or it won't be added into playlists. Like, for example, if you have a film music playlist and there were pieces of classical music used in the film, are those just going to not appear in the playlist or on the app at all? Or is there going to be some relationship between the two? Because I think it is quite hard to separate out genres. Lots of people listen to lots of different genres. So having one dedicated app to a specific genre means you've got to be a little bit more intentional about listening specifically to classical music, whereas you don't need to be so intentional with all of the other genres that are on the same app. The good thing is, if you already have an Apple Music subscription, then it does come under that subscription, so you don't need to pay an extra fee for the extra app. But if you are someone that uses Spotify, then it makes no difference anyway. You're just going to get all the same music on one app. I suppose I'm just not entirely sure that having somewhere separate to go for classical music isn't just going to drive more of a wedge between people that listen to classical music and people that don't. And like lots of classical music, film music also has a lot of nuances to it. And if you want to find out why the up theme is such a great theme, then check out this video and I will see you there.